Welcome back to Number One Cooking. My name is The Nagler and today, well, we're making a salad. Before this video starts, I'm gonna need you to subscribe. It's free and it only takes one button, so you better do it. All right, let's get into it. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the meat. You can use any meat, steak, um, I'm using chicken. You could also use uh, pork, uh, bacon, ostrich feet, I don't know, man. Second thing you're gonna do, you're gonna add the lettuce. Now, I already pre-cut uh, your lettuce, so uh, you don't have to cut any. So you can just throw some of that in there. All right, that's lettuce. The next, well, you got tomatoes. We'll add those to the salad right now. Now, personally, I don't like adding mushrooms to my salads, but um, the recipe that I um, completely plagiarized online uh, told me to do so, so that's why I'm adding mushrooms. Um, I don't have a specific way to cut these. Um, every time I've cut a mushroom, I've cut it a completely different way. So like, you can see what I did there. Uh, just get into bite-sized pieces. There's no, there's no rush. There's no, uh, there's no reason that you can't uh, cut it any way that you feel. Throw it in there. Now there's one more thing we gotta cut, and that's the hard-boiled eggs. Pull two of them out here. I mean, personally, I like more eggs on there, but that's up to you. It's up to you. Eggs are also a great alternative for um, for protein. If you don't like meat or you can't eat meat, eggs are a good way to go with salads. But wait, if you're if you're vegan, and these never mind. Don't, don't listen to me. But if you're vegan, you can actually add baked beans to your salad instead. Uh, I heard they're not too bad. I usually like to start by cutting it in half and then just uh, cut them in half again. There we go. Get the last little pieces in there. There we go. I like a little crunch in my salad, you know? That's why I put the, uh, the eggshells in there. All right, next is the uh, Mexican style blend shredded cheese, shredded Monterey Jack, mild cheddar, queso quesadilla, I can't read that word. Here's a tip for you guys when you're cooking though. Uh, make sure you clean up as you're going. You don't want to get to the end and have to do a bunch of cleaning. That's not, that's not fun. When you're done cooking, you want to eat your food, right? You don't want to spend an extra half hour cleaning. All right, next step is to add uh, cheese. You may be thinking, why are you adding Mexican cheese to a non-Mexican meal? That just doesn't make much sense. Wow. Well, the reason I like to add that is because, uh, well, it goes great with my uh, taco shells that I also like to put in there. That's yeah, it's still good. Yeah. yeah, taco shells are a little bit unorthodox. They normally don't go with them, they go with uh, salads at all. But you know, I like a little crunch with my salad, so that's why I'm adding it. Make sure you seal up your food nice and good so that it uh, doesn't expire. Oh, you know, I kind of lied about the one type of cheese. There is another type of cheese that I will be adding to this recipe. It's actually a Parmesan cheese. It's a solid cheese. Sprinkle a little on there. All right, next up, we got a little bit more of a unorthodox food. It's a potato chips, pop chips to be exact. Uh, this is a sea salt flavor. Uh, the only flavor I had on stand was uh, it was barbecue. I'm not making a barbecue uh, salad today, so. <clears throat> Dang it. And now. And you know, sticking with the, um, the Mexican theme, I'm gonna add Tostitos. I believe this is called a, um, a Mexican salad is what I saw in the uh, BuzzFeed uh, comedy section. So, just uh, throw a handful in there. Oh, what to add next? You know, I like a little crunch to my salad, so I'm gonna add some uh, chicken and a biscuit. I think that's gonna be my next uh, recipe. My next recipe in a recipe. You know, there's actually, here's the nutrition. There's actually cooked chicken in this. Um, when I saw it for the first time, I thought it was just, Name of the thing, but uh, apparently not so. It's actually a real thing. Next. We're gonna take whatever this is, 
Um, I know these look like almonds. I don't know, like a popped Frito kind of thing. It comes with dressing too, but I'm not gonna use the dressing. I like to, I like a plain. Uh, there's the, oof. <laughs> I feel dressing kind of ruins the crunch in a salad. That's kind of why I, I uh, avoid it at all costs. And then next up, well, we're gonna add uh, another orth unorthodox thing. I know I sound like a broken record, but uh, I just like a little crunch in my salad. It's just good. Add a couple. Only two, because it's, uh, uh, otherwise it'd be a bit salty. Alright, next thing we're gonna add is, uh, well, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. Again, not too much salt, but, uh, salt. Alright, next up, well, <laughs> I like a little crunch in my salad, so we're gonna add... We're gonna add, uh, some breakfast mix to this, called, uh, Cheerios. Alright, last, but, uh, certainly least, is, uh, gonna add some pretzel sticks. Just grab like a handful. Yeah, you know, I just, uh, pretzels, you know, kind of weird thing to add, but, you know, I like to add a little bit extra crunch to my salad. I just love crunch in my salad. You know, lettuce has crunch in it too, and it really helps with the, uh, with the crunch, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that's the, um, that's the salad. Let me know what you guys think in the, um, uh, description here. I'll take a bite here in a second, but I just want to give you guys a, a good little view of what we've created today. The entire recipe. Thank you for watching. Make sure to uh, make sure you do what the fridge says. Not enough of you are doing that, so do it. All right. Have a good evening. Thank you for watching. Mmm. Crunch.